I access the download page for a final last attempt at the blound in the game. If this doesn't work, then I might as well give up. And I push the link. Holy! The download link works! After arriving home, I spent it alone. It's been one week since Yuji's death. The smoke was slowly clearing and the reality that he was gone slowly sunk in. Will I just give up on finding out more about Baden? First of all, there's not much I can do if I can play the game. No matter how you look at it, the game has to choose me. No matter what I do, if a game doesn't somehow choose me, then I can't do a thing. I access the download page for a final last attempt at the blound in the game. If this doesn't work, then I might as well give up. And I push the link. Holy! The download link works! A blue progress bar appears and before long, it reaches 100. Do you want to run the game? After a message a button for yes and no for the spy in a box prom. Are you serious? I was finally able to download it! This is it. I can finally look into the matter and put an end to all the rumors and bullshit of the game! I should myself to find out the truth behind Yuji by any means. The flame of determination that came poor Bri where I won't had burned out. Well, shit. Now for the moment of truth. Should I just let it go and return to my life or walk away and not take the risk? No way. I have to do this. Even the stuff linger in my mind, the spy getting the download to miraculously work. Damn it. It's like the game is taunting me. It's scary and infuriating at the same time. What should I do? Do I play button or not play? Um I want to save. And I want to see what happens if I say don't play. A cold chill rolls down my spine. I tap the no button with a trembling finger. And I immediately delayed it forever from my mobile application. I went with my intuition and gut feeling. The game was trying to deceive me into taking a plunge into its death grip. Successfully avoiding the curse, I regain my composure. I'm not touching this game again. Sorry. Yuji! Tears start to stream from my eyes. Yuji. I never forgive the pastor responsible for your death. I'll like nothing more to track them down and exile revenge. But I must leave. Now I was more ashamed of myself than frightened. The next day, Kaname called out to me as soon as I walked into the classroom. Hey, how are you feeling? I guess I'm okay. What's up? Um... About the mobile game, are you still looking to that? Nah. I gave up on trying. 
gave up. Yes, I don't really want to talk about it. If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine with me. I return to my routine daily life. It will still take a while before I can ask them what happened. Surely Yuchi wouldn't want me to dwell on it. All I can do is continue to pray that Yuchi's soul is resting in peace in the afterlife. But then... Huh. An incoming email. Who could it be from? I flip the phone open and look at the display. Why the background changed so suddenly? It looks so different. Don't quit, Q, hey. What? Hey, what happened? Oh my god, am I dying? The email referring to you to continue to fill my phone. No matter what I do or how many times I change my phone number and address. The response was still our endless. Yuji, who was my best friend and has now become a frightening existence that continues to help me everywhere I go. Don't quit, Kyuhi. Don't quit, Kyuhi. Don't quit, Kyuhi. Don't quit, Kyuhi. Don't quit, Kyuhi! Don't quit. 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 Okay, that is our first ending of a uh, game, but then don't quit now. I thought so that this will lead us to the ending. Because I'm such a specialist on the vision novel stuff. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I just uh, wanted to get that ending done. Hopefully we get all the endings somehow. But this is our first ending. It's a very bad end, as you can see. Because uh, Yuji haunts us. But this also gives us the information that maybe Yuji is trapped in the game. Maybe maybe he became ghost and is now scouting because he cannot go to the afterlife and maybe we can save him. Um, this is very similar to something else I've seen, but yeah, it's more like it took the inspiration from that other game that it reminds me of and I'm very happy it did. So far I'm very very happy with this game. So this is our first ending. And it's time to load and get into game. There's no way I won't play! I grill my teeth and stare blankly at the display. If this isn't fake, I don't know what it is. This game may very well be a death trap because it already claimed one victim. I won't, def I won't be defeated so easily. I'll do anything I can to clear it. I will do it. And I start a world of bad end. Okay, real fun starts now. So I would assume this is the game world now. The bell team signal in the end of a school day. It's finally over. Oh hello there, Coco. Ooh. She's pretty. She's so pretty. You're so cute. You're so cute, girl. And now let, yeah, let's let's give her girly voice. And now it's time for your story to make a sweet exit. After hearing the energy in my words, my close friend Kanami Hashir returns with a laugh. 
the bell with sweet sound. I want to remember those voices. I will not remember those voices. Oh, Coco, do you have another hot day like that today? Another hot day? It's not like that. I can do this voice. I don't want just any man. I want a foreign guy. American. An American. Oh my. Can I say? I don't have an actual steady boyfriend, but there's one guy at school that I do hang out with often. Sometimes I have him treat me to some fine dining at times. <laughs> Isn't that what everyone does? I'm sure I'm not the only. No, you're just friendzoning someone. It's okay. It's okay, Coco. Life happens. Hey, <laughs> well, I gotta go. Got a hot day to get ready for. Oh yeah, have fun and break a leg. I kinda left the classroom earlier than usual. Kinda's boyfriend is very handsome. They seem to make a great couple. By the way, who should I invite today? My name is Koko Iwasaki. I'm pretty much your average carefree teenage girl. When the bell rings, I usually hang out with Kana and her boyfriend until the evening. What about studying? Yeah, only when it's appropriate. One hour later, my stomach was stuffed. Ah, that was delicious. Let's go to the patisserie again. Well, do you intend to be my lover or um, your lover? I'm being serious. I really like you. I want you around another guy. Sorry, but I'm not ready to have any serious relationships. Whatever. Bye. Yeah, she's friend zoning them. I came home and lay down on my bed. Do you not intend to be Do you not intend to be my lover? Huh. I heard a line a dozen times or so. But I turn them down every time. I have to admit I'm a little jealous to see my friends with handsome guys of their own. It seems I have a knack for running guys off, at least that's what Kana said. It's kind of weird if you hang out with a guy a few times, throw out to uh, to have them treat to have them treat you to something, and every time they ask to date you, you're just like, nah, thanks. I said, I, I, I want you to buy me stuff. I don't want you to be my boyfriend. It's a little bit of it. It breaks the point, you know. You might, you might want to rethink that strategy. I don't think that's true at all. There's nobody else that is easy going. Girl, girl, you just don't understand what she means. After supper, I decided to take extra time with my makeup. Of course, applying makeup at school is against the rules. But it's in a girl's better interest if it's for being with a hot guy on holiday break. The ideas this girl has for life are just so like... Just so heartbreaking. The most important stuff. I understand you're in high school, but... Just... Like, I was the only girl at school that did not wear a makeup. Uh, because it was prohibited and when they were and I believe that at some point our teachers were more like well there also was that you couldn't uh, put on my being uh, put on makeup for school but they didn't care that much so I began putting up a little bit and every time they were checking because like our headmaster would always check on this like every few months I was the only one that had so little makeup they didn't even realize I had makeup 
So, there are more embarrassed stuff in life, girl. On the other hand, I never had a boyfriend in high school, so maybe she does have a point. Uh, this is the game. Now, I believe we are first catching butterflies to have money. 